Hi everyone, Maher Haddad here. In uh, this new video, I'm going to do a Cisco lab to show you how you can make a Cisco router to act as a frame relay switch. Because sometimes if you are doing some labs and you want to do labs for frame relay, and uh, you don't have a frame relay switch because that's uh, yeah, it's not available for everybody. So what you can do, you can just make your Cisco router to act as a frame relay switch to be able to do your labs. So let's see what is uh, the scenario and then we will start doing the labs and we will see what are the points that we have to work on. So as you can see, this is my scenario. I do have here one Cisco router and I'm going to call it frame relay switch. So it's a Cisco router which has three serial ports because we are talking about frame relay here. So we have to work with serial ports. So I'm going to make this router as a frame relay switch. And then I'm going to configure frame relay on this router, this router, this router. So you have to think that router one is like a router in the headquarter and those routers are in the branch office. So that means that if router two wants to speak to router one, he has to pass from the frame relay switch to router one. And also if you want to speak to router three, it has to go to router one and then from router one, it will be able to go to router three. So, you know, on frame relay, we have something we call it the DLCI. So DLCI, you have to think it's like when you go to the airport, for example, uh, you go from, uh, you're going from Amsterdam to Paris. So you go to Amsterdam uh, to the uh, airport and then you enter inside a gate. Say, let, let's say the gate is number 40. So this is the gate that you go inside Amsterdam. And then from there, uh, you go to the gate and then you go by the plane and then you are out in Paris in gate number 50. So for you, you don't know what is the gate which is in Paris, you know the gate which is in Amsterdam. And you just know that it's 40. The same for the LCI. For router 1 to be able to reach router 2, it has to send everything to its the LCI, which is the LCI number 102. And then when it comes to the frame rate switch, the frame rate switch has some type of route. She knows that, oh, if it has to go to the LCI 102, then I have to send it from this interface. So then he knows that it has to go to router 2. So all of those things, we have to configure it on the frame relay switch to be able to work on that. And after that, we are going to make the frame relay configuration on router 1, router 2, router 3 to see if it's going to work. So for the moment, the routers do not have any configuration. And let's get started and see how we can configure first the uh, frame relay switch, and then we do the other routers. So point number one, they say configure the frame relay switch to become a frame relay switch. So that's, that's the name of it. Frame relay switch is the name of the router. So we go to the router and this is my router. At this moment, I do not have any configuration on this router. So please look at the picture also so you can follow what I'm doing. First, we have to go to the configure terminal. And then over here, I have to say frame relay and then we have to say switching. So when I do frame relay switching, that means I'm enabling the process of the frame relay switching on this router. That's the first thing I need to do. Now I have to go inside the interface of that frame relay. So the interface is serial two over zero. First, I have to say that the encapsulation that I'm going to use it is frame relay. And then I'm gonna say the frame relay and then question mark. Over here, when I say a frame relay, I'm going to use this one, the interface type. So there are different interface types on frame relay. Let me show you that. So interface type. So there is the DCE, DTE, and NNI. The DTE and DCE are the important ones. So the router, which is in the provider, which is in my case, uh, uh, it should be always DCE. So DCE, that's what I have to say, and then enter. So those are the two steps that now I, I need to do. Now, the second step is I want to do the routes. Remember we said that if the router one has to send to the SCI 102, it has to go to router two. So here we have to make the routes on the frame relay. So I have to say frame relay route, question mark. And then I say, if it comes from 102, then it has to go to the interface, which is serial. In my case, if you look to the picture, so it has to go from serial 201. So if it comes from here, it has to go from serial 201 to reach to router 2. So it has to go from serial 2 slash 1. On the DLCI, in this case, it is 201. Correct? That's what I need to do. So I made this one. So now if I go back to the picture, 
So in case uh, router one is sending some traffic to the uh, DSI uh, 102, then it comes to the frame relay and the switch and the frame relay switch knows how to send it here. Now I want to do one also to able to go to router three. So it's, if it goes to 103, then it has to send it from here to go to 301, which is router three. Let's do that. So I'll repeat this comment and now I have to say route. 103, then it has to go from the interface. It is, uh, we have to check again, the interface is uh, 2, 2 slash 2, 2 slash 2, and then it's going to be 301. And that's it. Now I say just no shutdown. Very good. Okay, now this is not uh, finished the configuration on the frame relay switch because if we just say show frame relay route, we can see that we do have those two routes. So that means to go to, uh, if we send to 102, then it goes to 201. And if we send to 103, then it goes to 301. But what about if we want that router 2 that has to send to router 1 or to router 3, then it has to send everything to this DLCI. Then it comes to the a frame relay switch and then frame relay switch send it to router one. If it has to go to 301, then it knows how to send it. If it has to go to router one, it knows how to send it. Same for router three. So we have to make a route to say that if we want to send to anywhere on frame relay, send to the DSA 301, then this goes to the frame relay switch and then frame relay switch knows that it has to send it from 103. Now, if we want to go to Router 1, it goes to Router 1. If it has to go to Router 2, it sends it to Router 2. Because Router 1, uh, we will see in a moment how we can configure it that also to be able to send it to Router 2. So those needs to be configured. So let's go to the frame rate switch and then I will go to the configure terminal to the interface. And in our case, the interface, it is called 201 or 2 slash 1. So 2 slash 1. And then so serial, we have to say 2 slash 1, and then I have to say encapsulation frame relay, frame relay, interface type DCE, and now I have to say frame relay route, anything which goes to 201, then send it from the interface serial, and in my case it is 2 slash 0, right? So 2 slash 0 is this interface over here, 102, 2 slash 0, 102. So that is done, and I will say here, no shutdown. Very good. So that is for uh, this side. We go to the second side, which is in this case, to a side from router three. So we have to go to the interface two slash two. So we go again to the router and interface serial two slash two. And over here, I have to say encapsulation frame relay, frame relay type, or interface type, it is DCE, and then also I have to do now frame relay uh, route, anything which goes to 301, then send it out of the interface serial 2 slash 0 on the DSI 103, and then no shutdown. So by doing that, now if we do now again uh, the uh, show frame relay route to see what we have. So everything is still inactive. We know why, we will do it in a moment. But uh, you can see that 102, 201, 103, 301, correct. And 201, 102, 301, 103. That's correct. So now all the routes are correct, but you can see the status is inactive. So we have to see what we have to do in the next point to make the status active. Point number one is done. Point number two, we have to go to the routers now. Router one, router two, router three. We put those IP addresses that uh, you can also see them on the picture for everyone. And of course, we have to make the um, the encapsulation to be frame relay. So let's do that. We go to router one and router one, we go to the configure terminal interface serial two slash zero encapsulation. And now we have to say frame relay. We put the IP address 192.168.123.1.255.255.255.0 and we make no shutdown. That is done on router 1. We go to router 2. Configure terminal interface serial to slash 1. Please follow the picture so you can know what I'm doing. 
and then encapsulation frame relay and IP address 192.168.123.2.255.255.255.0 no shutdown and we go to router 3 now configure terminal interface serial 2 slash 1 encapsulation frame relay IP address 192.168.123.3.255.255.255.0 and no shutdown excellent so by doing that let's see now if we had here everything was inactive we just repeat the command now of course this is still showing inactive in a moment it would go active here we go it's up and now we should have everything active let's have a look here we go. So you can see now all the routes are active. So that means now everything is working fine. All I need now to do is just to make the normal configuration that we do on frame relay. So we have to go to router one, router two, router three, and make the mapping. And uh, that's what you normally do uh, on uh, the routers uh, when you have frame relay circuit getting from you from the provider. But this frame relay switch is now up and running so we only need now to configure the normal frame relay on the routers point number two number three number four are done now we have to configure the the uh, frame relay as for the ips and the dlci map so let's do that on router one first let's think what we have to do so on router one we have to uh, make the frame relay map to say on router one if we go back to the picture that if someone or if router one sent DLCI 102 or it goes to the DLCI 102, then in this case, then that means it has uh, to go to router two. And if it sends to the DLCI 103, then that means it has to go to router three. So that's what the map I have to do. So we go to router one. And from here, I have to say frame relay map. And over here, I have to say, I want to map to the IP. So if I want to, uh, to go to 192.168.123.2, which is router 2, then send everything to my DLC. I remember the idea about the uh, airport gate, which is 102. And then I will add over here broadcast. Then I will do another one. I will say to go to router 3 IP, then send everything to 103 DLCI and then broadcast. All right, so now I will just do, do WR to save my configuration on router one. I go to router two. Now let's think what we have to do on router two. On router two, I have to say, if I want to send to uh, the IP of the router one, then I have to send everything to the SI201. But also if I want to send to the IP of router three, which is 192.1.3.3, then also I have to send to my DLCI because it is like uh, the gate, uh, my gate, to go uh, out all right so let's do that we go to router 2 now and from here i have to say frame relay map and then i'll have to say ip to go to 192.168.123.1 which is router 1 then i have to send everything to my dlci which is 201 broadcast and i will do one if i want to reach to router 3 also the same and then we save the configuration now router 3 also let's think what we have to do so on router 3 i have to say if i want to go to router 1 i have to send to 301 and if i want to go to router 2 router 2 i also have to send to the dhi 301 so we go to router 3 now and from router 3 i have to say frame relay map ip to go to 192.168.123.1 i have to send everything to my dlci 301 broadcast and to go to 192.168.123.2, also to my DLCI, and let's save the configuration. Point number five is done. Point number six, now you should be able to ping all interfaces. So let's try now if the frame rate is working. I will go to router one first. Let's go to router one. And let's go to the uh, uh, this level, and then I will try to ping router two. 192.168.123.2 working i will try to ping router 3 so frame relay is working on router 1 we go to router 2 i will try to ping to 192.168.123.1 router 1 working router 3 
working very good we go to router 3 and I will try to ping to router 1 1 I 2 1 say that 1 2 3 dot 1 working and we ping to router 2 working excellent so yeah the frame relay switch is working and the frame relay mapping is working so everything is working as it should be Point number six is done, and uh, with this point, I have showed you how you can configure the frame relay uh, or the Cisco router to become a frame, re frame relay switch. So if you want to do some labs for frame relay, that is the way you can do it, and it's uh, straightforward, so it's not uh, very difficult. You only need to understand the concept, and it works perfectly. If you like my way of teaching, please do not forget to uh, make like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so you are notified about my new videos when they come. Thank you very much for your time, and see you in the next video.